Vadim is working with Patricia on the video creation project for the Flagman product. Our project sponsor, John, suggested that we plan some tasks for the future. John would like to be able to track project execution and see how well we're doing. Patricia had decided to use Asana based on her research. To add Asana, all you need to do is click plus sign, search for Asana. Patricia already had project created in Asana, so all she needed to do is just to select the project. When this checkbox is checked, it will send the message to other team members to notify them about new tab that has been added. And the last step in the process is to click the save button. Let me tell you a little bit about myself. My name is Vadim Michalenka and I have MBA and master's degree in computer science. Most of my career, I worked as a consultant helping companies implement solutions. I learned a lot of technologies throughout my career but more importantly, I developed a methodology how to learn new skills, which I would like to share with you as part of my videos. I also work as an educator in the community college, helping people to learn technology and find jobs. I started online training for everyone to share the knowledge and help people to reach their goals faster. Please consider subscribing to this channel. Skills that you learn here will be helpful for you now and also in the future. Integration with Asana provides you with multiple capabilities. You can create new Asana task, you can link to the project and get notified about updates on this particular project. And also you can adjust your notification settings. Using help command, you can also view list of possible commands related to Asana. Asana projects are typically organized in three major buckets. To do bucket allows you to plan. These are the tasks that you're planning to do in the future. Actively doing is the doing bucket and then the tasks that you've completed go into the done bucket. For example, as we were working with Patricia on the request for proposal, Patricia created three different tasks. Create RFP, send RFP to vendors and select vendor. When she added Asana tab into Microsoft Teams, Asana has very similar breakdown for work in Asana app inside Microsoft Teams. You see three different sections, to do section, doing section and done section. As we started working on create RFP task with Patricia, she moved it from to do section to the doing section. And this change was immediately reflected in Asana app inside Microsoft Teams. Asana plugin has limited capabilities. You can only add new tasks and you cannot manage the tasks right inside Microsoft Teams. For example, when Patricia was reviewing the list of tasks, she realized that she missed one task. And this is the task to identify the vendors themselves. Before we can send RFP to vendors, we need to know who those vendors are. She typed the task in the Add Tasks section and clicked Add Task. The task got added into To Do section and it showed up in both Microsoft Teams as well as in Asana itself. Please consider subscribing to this channel. Skills that you learn here will be helpful for you now and also in the future. You also get opportunity to help other people by answering their questions and helping them solve their challenges. If you like the content, please give this video a big thumbs up. This tells us that you need more content like this. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in my next video.